Hey everyone, and today's video is a story time. <laughs> so today's video is just basically going to be a story of something crazy that happened and also a warning on why you should never ever bring slime to school. So it started a couple weeks ago and I had my slime and I brought this nice little unicorn slime to school just so I could have it. I don't know why I always bring like a bunch of candy like everyone always raids my candy bags in the morning. It's crazy. And actually, everyone's just like, oh my gosh, I was thinking you have candy, ah! And I'm just like, mm-hmm. So I have a lot of candy, and I bring it to school, and people know me because I bring cool things. Other than that, people absolutely hate me, but they like it when I bring candy. And sometimes in my candy bag, I also bring, like, slime or squishies. I don't know, just for my friends or, like, nice people to see. And this particular day, I decided to bring something else. Slime. Big mistake. So at the beginning of the morning, I'm sitting with these two girls at my long table, and the boy that sits behind me is like, oh, is that slime? And I'm just like, yeah. And he's like, oh, can I play with it? And I'm like, yeah. He's just looking at it, and he's like, oh, that's nice. And I'm like, yeah. And then he, I don't know what he was doing, but he just pushes into the slime, and then it farts. <laughs> really loudly. Very loud slime fart in the middle of the announcements. Everyone's laughing their heads off, and then we're just like... <laughs> It, it was pretty great. And then he played with it for a while, and then he gave it to his buddy, and he made some farts, and eventually the teacher got annoyed. He's just like, whoever is doing that, stop it right now. We're just all laughing, because those guys are nice, really nice, actually. I trust them with slime, because I know they're not going to ruin it or anything. But everyone else saw that I had the slime, and I had another pack that wasn't open, but we'll get to that later. And they saw that I had slime, so then we went to the next class. So we went to our next classroom, and we actually had two hours of English because we were working on an assignment before the break. And these kids, I, I don't know why, I just don't really trust them. I, I should have known. They're just like, can I play with your slime? And I'm like, well, I can't be a bully. I can't say no. <sighs> you should have said no. These people, which I do not exactly get along with, they're okay, but I'm just like, please, no. I let them have my slime, and I should have known what happens to store-bought slime, but when people start touching a bunch of slime, it gets, like, really dirty, the texture's all different, half of it goes away, and it ended up bad. Because they don't really do the whole, like, poke the slime, do that, they're just kind of like, ooh, slime. So they had it, and I think, mm, they must be responsible, but I was wrong. Never trust any grades of slime. Especially not grade eights. So they were playing with it for like an hour. And I was starting to think, Ugh, I'm never going to get that slime back. Because they had their hands all over it. And I don't know. I just don't like people touching it. I mean, like, I can have people touch myself with their hands on it. Like, I'm just like, no. So that's what they were doing. I'm just like, what a mistake. And I'm like telling the girls at my table. And I'm just like, what a mistake. And they're just like, yeah. And then the guy at my table who had my slime earlier in the morning, he saw that I had another slime and I actually sold it, so I need to get another one for a dollar, which was so nice that I was able to sell it. And then this teacher, he's, he's always a really funny teacher. He saw the slime, he's just like, oh, what's that? And I was thinking, I'm doomed, I'm doomed, I'm doomed. So they were gonna like wrap me out and get me in trouble. Oh, nothing, this is Allison. But they didn't. They were just like, ooh, slime. Like, it was so gross and dirty. And then the teacher picks it up and he starts, like, pulling on it. And he's just like, ooh, and letting it hit the floor. And I'm just like, no. We have this wooden thing on the door. I think it's for lockdown or something. Most teachers have it with paper, but he had it in wood. And there was the glass part, so he put the slime on the glass part. And he's just like, oh, this is going to be funny. And I'm just like, no. No, my slime, just get away. And then some kids walked by and he had the slime in his hand. And when the kids walked by, he did this. He's just like, Achoo! And the kids are like, what? And he let the slime drip down like off his face into the floor. And I'm just like, what a mistake. And then he's like, hmm, maybe I should go play that prank on the vice principal. I should put it on my hand and shake his hand. It'd be hilarious. But I don't know if he has a sense of humor. I'm just sitting with the guys at my table, and the guy I gave the other sign to is being really good with it, and he's just like, oh, this is cool, and I'm just like, yep, and then me and my friends started laughing, because nobody was really doing their work at that point, point. I'm just on the computer, like, do-do-do, email, and 
then the teacher, I don't think he knows that it's my slime. He doesn't at this point. I kept on like saying things like, no, that's my slime. He wasn't listening. And the slime's all gross. So I'm just like, mm, I just want to do whatever. And then he takes the slime, rolls it up. He rolls it up like this. It wasn't, it didn't have beads in it. And then he wraps it around a girl's neck. Just as a little joke. And he's just like, oh, pretty necklace. And I knew that was him because... In grade six, like when everyone else went to their clubs, I had him. I don't know why, just for a little meeting on how to make a red dress project. I'm just like, okay, I don't know how I ended up in this group, but okay. And then one time he was behind me and had a piece of red felt. He didn't even know me back then. He wraps it around my head and he's like, oh, a pretty tiara. I actually still have it somewhere. But yeah, so he wraps it around the girl's neck and the girl's just like, oh my gosh, it's going to get all stuck over me. And she's just like, no, no, it's not. It's going to be fine. Come on, just take it off. And then it gets stuck in the girl's hair. The class went to panic. And everyone's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm just like, no. My slime. And I felt so bad for the girl. because, And the teacher, too. Because he was just messing around trying to be funny. And then he puts the slime in the girl's hair. And I'm just like, I'm so sorry. And I felt really bad about it and he did too he was just like oh my goodness i'm so sorry and then the rest of the class was just watching him painfully pull it out of the girl's hair cutting it out and putting it on the table into hairy pieces and i'm just like oh no my slime the girl the teacher everything everything was bad and and then like right before he did it he was stretching the slime out he was holding it like this, and he's like, well, I'm going to try to make it do, go down faster. And he's like, it always starts at the thinnest point. And then eventually, it drops to the ground like that. And the slime was just stuck in the girl's hair. And I'm just like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then the guy at my table, really nice. And my friends also really nice. We're just like, oh, my gosh. What have we done? We're just silent. And I'm just like, slime is going to be banned from this school. It was a big issue. The teacher trying to get it out of her hair. And he's just like, I'm so sorry. This is not funny. I meant for it to be funny, but this is not funny at all. And the girl's just like, ow, oh, my hair. And then I march over to the table like this while the teacher's cutting it out of her hair. And I lift up the kid's binder, grab my slime, put it into the jar, and it felt disgusting. I don't even want to look at it. It's been in my bag for two weeks. I haven't even opened it because I don't even want to see the damage done to it. It's really gross. I, luckily, the pieces that were cut out of her hair, he threw those away. And her hair is fine. I, I felt so bad. I'm just like, oh, no, this is all my fault. I shouldn't have brought it. And I shouldn't have given it away. So, yeah, that was the story of why you don't bring slime to school. Don't give it to your teachers. Don't give it to your classmates. And don't be stupid. Okay? I hope we all learned something. Goodbye. <laughs>